What's up guys? My name is Rengar. I'm an EFT streamer and Sherpa. Today we're talking about the best possible guns to use at levels 1 and 2 traders. Now, if you're new here, I was one of the first 5 people to unlock Kappa in patch 12.12. So if you want help leveling up fast, you've come to the right place. Check out my wipe guide or my Mac Traders and Board A series. I'll leave us both linked down below. And if you have any questions or get stuck, come by my stream. I'm live every single day. Links also down below. Hope you guys enjoy. Wish you the best of luck with the wipe. And let's jump into the guide. So starting off, you have the choice of either USEC or Bear. If you pick USEC, you get access to the 556 MDR as well as the M4A1 as your starting weapons. If you pick Bear, you get the AK-74M as well as the PP-19. If you pick USEC, you get an easier time on Lighthouse. The rogues are more friendly towards you. But if you pick Bear, the starting weapons are kind of better. The MDR and the M4 aren't that great early. I don't like them too much. I usually go USEC. It's up to you. The choice isn't that big of a deal. So pick what you think is cooler, what you like. But we're going to talk about how to mod their early weapons and make it easier for you. I do want to say before we get into this that sometimes BSG will change the items on traders early. Usually they don't change like too much, if anything. But if I say something's here and it's not on the trader when the game wipes, I can't control that. I will put a pinned comment down below if anything that I say in this video does change because it is filmed at the end of 12.12 .12 because I will not have access to the traders on day one of the wipe when you guys need this info. So if you were USEC, you get the 506 MDR and this is easy to mod. All you really need is a site. So you can buy any site you want from level one Peacekeeper. You have the option of the Burris, which you can get right here as well as the mount. This is what I'm gonna go with. You could also use the H2 site, which is kind of more of like a like ACOG-ish site. Whatever you like, either one's fine. And you're just gonna slap that right on your MDR and you are good to go, that's pretty much it. Now, if you wanna get fancier, you can put a laser on your gun. Now, the benefit of using a laser is you get increased hip fire accuracy, which helps you get kills when you're hip firing, obviously, right? If you don't know about that, I have a hip fire guide. Uh, top of the video, like top right, it'll be up there somewhere. And if you go to level one mechanic, all you have to do is barter a single measuring tape. And when you barter the measuring tape, you can get the 2.5 inch rail, which you are gonna put your laser on. And same thing, if you get an, a USB adapter, you actually can get access to the 4.1 inch rail. So you can put a grip on the MDR if you do find one in raid. So what I do is I get the 2.5 inch rail, put that on my gun. I go to level one skier and I buy the tactical blue laser right here for 5K. And I can slap that on my gun and I'm gonna shoot the gun just so you can see what it looks like. That's me not pulling down. That's what it looks like. So it does kick a little bit with a muzzle and with a grip it do a lot better. But overall, a gun you definitely could tap with. If you crouch, the recoil is much better. It kind of does beam, but you can tap. You can feel like if you need to spray, you can spray, you can hit fire. Overall, a solid choice. The ammo is a little weak, but overall, it will kill things. The M4, very similar the way that you mod it. But there is one main problem. So I bought the H2 sight from level 1 Peacekeeper. Which again, if you don't know, that is right over here. Level 1 Peacekeeper. I got the H2 mount and the H2 sight. And I could take off the carrying handle off my M4. And put this right on my gun. Now the main problem that you would notice right away if you went into raid with this. Would be that you actually can't see through your sight. The gas block, the front sight, is going to actually block my reticle. So to fix this problem... We have to go to level one mechanic right over here. Go to level one and buy the MK12 low profile gas block. Gonna buy that. And then all I have to do is go to the front sight of the M4, take this off and put the gas block on. Now you'll notice if I don't put the new gas block on, the M4 will not work because there's no gas block. So I put this on now. My M4 is now functional. I can see my sight and it'll work just fine. Now, personally for me, I don't like using the M4 early wipe at all because I feel like it kicks too much. If you look at this, the M4 versus our 5.56 MDR, the recoil difference is like insane. So M4 while crouching looks like this. And the MDR while crouching looks more like this. You see how like the M4 kind of jumps here and then there instantly. This kind of like takes like four bullets. To, even when I full auto, it doesn't even hit where the second bullet of M4 hits. So MDR definitely does better than the, than the M4 early on. You see just how much more this jumps. So if you want to use this, you definitely can. I prefer not to use the M4. I just hold on to them for my gunsmith task right on the line. But if you do want to use this, it is here for you. You can like, I mean, you can kind of spare with it. I do have max skills though, so it makes it a little bit easier. But I'd recommend use the MDR, maybe not so much the M4. But again, that was up to you. And those are the USEC weapons. Jumping over to Bear. These are just so much simpler to mob. There's not even much to do them. So AK-74M. 
all you have to do is go to level one proper and you're going to buy the EKP site. Now, I recommend when you get in the game, you buy your five reset of these as soon as you possibly can because these sell out really quick as the traders are very limited and what they have and everyone only has level one traders. So the stuff on there sells out very fast. So make sure that you buy all five of these because if you are bare, even if you're USEC, you can use these. All you do is you take this EKP7, you slap this on the AK, and that's your build. There's nothing else to do to it. There's nothing else you can do. So you have a site on your AK now. You can change your reticle if you want to, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna go with the dot. And that's it. You got a site you can tap with if you want. You can full auto. Uh, that's standing. So the recoil does kick quite a bit. I have to pull down a lot. It kicks on, like honestly more than the M4 does. But if you crouch, the crouching is where it really is king. So instead of it jumping up so high, it's more like the MDR now. Or when I crouch, it's a lot easier to beam with. Again, there's no laser on this gun, so it's harder to hit fire. But you still can if you want to. Not a bad choice. It's up to you. The PP-19 is a lot easier to spray with, but if you do feel confident, you know, you can tap people at a distance, you have a nice reticle to do so, and if you feel like up close and you just spray somebody, you definitely can. Now, a level 1 prep where there are a few ammo choices. The one that you're going to be going with is the PS ammo. Early on, it is PS. PS has the most pennant of all these rounds here. It's more better than PRS and better than T, and you have access to mags early on, and then later on, you're going to have access to better ammo, like PP, which is uh, slightly better. PP-19, you're just going to take that same site, put that in PP-19, and that is literally it. So what you can do is go here, and you're going to be able to buy PST from there. Uh, level 1 is a lot easier to control. It is 9mm, it has less recoil. See, it doesn't really like jump up too high, honestly. Maybe a little bit more than the AK, or about the same. Hard to tell. But if you crouch, it is also just really easy to control. It jumps like about to there. So you can definitely beam with this thing. The one thing I will obviously say is it's 9mm, so it's going to bounce a lot off helmets, it's going to bounce off body armor. You can go through body armor, because it's early wipe, you're going to have to be like packas and level 3 armors. But if you want to shred people, the AK is definitely the better choice. PP19 is good for those budget runs. Up to you, but definitely make sure you're buying those 5 of your sites. For this, you're going to have the mags just from starting the game. And if you want to use PST ammo. Now, moving on to more neutral choices. So, these are choices that I tend to go with early wipe. And I kind of hold off on these weapons. Maybe I use the MDR, but I hold off on these weapons for a little while. You can use the AK, whatever you want to use. But I used to always rock the SKS from level 1 proper. This is the stock one. You can't put a sight on it. It just comes as it is. Now, they all come with an internal mag, which means that you cannot, like, bring in a bunch of these to reload. I see new players do this a lot. The internal mag is, like, bolt fed. So you need loose ammo in your pockets to reload it, and you can't have extra mags. However, on level 1 Peacekeeper, there is a 20-round mag you can buy right off the rip where you can take out this internal mag right here get rid of it and you could put in the 20 round mag so now what this does is you have 10 extra bolts in your mag obviously but it gives you the option you can buy more than one mag and you can reload those mags with extra mags so you can like a normal gun take the mag out put a new mag in reload it or you can have loose ammo and bolt load it it gives you the option to do either i usually just bring one extra mag when i do this so i'd bring the sks i'd go ahead and buy one extra mag and i could fill it up with some ps ammo you'll see it looks like this I can just reload the max with it I want to. It gives you the option to do it either way. So if you don't want to use a rig, you can still use the bullets. If you want to have an extra mag to reload, it gives you the benefit of doing that. The problem with the SKS being that the iron sights have a very bad picture in this game. Other games, it's a, it's a lot nicer to look down the iron sights. But in this one, it's kind of hard to hit those follow-up shots because your gun jumps so much. So the way that I get around this is if you go to the SKS and take off the rear sight, just drag it off the gun. You still shoot extremely accurately. Look at that sight picture. So look at this. See the target? Look at how I'm pretty much hitting directly on the target. If I aim at his stomach right here, it's like a little bit higher than my sight. So it's not directly on it, but like, look at how accurate that is still. It's it's pretty good. You know, it still does hit exactly where you, like, not exactly, but pretty much like where you want it to. So you get a better FOV and it makes your life a lot easier. Now, if you unlock level 1 Jaeger, which... I heard that they made level 1 Jaeger just always available now in the last, like, week or so. I don't know if this is true or not, but if it is true, you can buy the white OPSKS from level 1 Jaeger, which is located right over here. And the OPSKS costs about 5 or maybe it's 10k more than the brown SKS. It has a dovetail mount. So what that means is this site that we've been using all day, the EKP, we can now put on the SKS so we can have our 20 round mag and we can use a site. So it makes our life even easier. So if you want to do that and have the site, you have to unlock level 1 Jaeger by doing the quest. Or if you get it for free, you can just start rocking this off level 1. 
And the recoil really isn't that bad, you know? You can spam it, you can see. As long as you're not using, like, both iron sights, it's so much easier to use the gun. For the SKS, when it comes to ammo, what you're gonna do is use PS ammo from level 1 crapper. Now, this is one of the best level 1 rounds from Trader. The Mosin ammo is definitely better, but PS ammo is dirt cheap. You can buy a limited of it, and it really hits. Yeah, I'll put the pen up on the screen. Like, it shreds through high or, like, mid-tier armor, like, level 3 armor. It'll start hitting at 4 pretty quickly. It just is really good round, really solid. You can hit shots on, with this stuff. It's easy to get a lot of it too in raid. A lot of scabs are gonna have it. Other players are gonna have it. So um, that's your call if you want to use it. I like it. It feels good. It gives you that balance of like cheap but also effective. So the iron sight tricks my go-to. Hopefully you enjoy that. My last option for level one traders being the infantry Mosin. Now this is something that I use all the time, mainly because of you need to level up sniper skill in this game for a future quest from Jaeger. So that skill is located right over here for me. Level 10 sniper. You need level 9 to get Kappa. You need like level 4 for your quest. That's like early on. I just use the Mosin because I like it. It has really high pen ammo. You can use LPS ammo from level 1 Frapper, which is right here. It goes through like class 4 like it's nothing. So it'll shred through anyone's armor early. If it fragments, it can one tap someone in the thorax. It really hits hard. It goes through helmets. Like if you hit your shots, this gun goes crazy. But it's bolt action, right? So if you aren't hitting your shots, you're going to get pushed and you're going to die. So it's up to you. Shooting with the hitting shots and reloading are going to level up your sniper skill. So that just looks like this. I like using the gun early just for that reason and getting the headshot bonus. Because when you get headshots, you do get bonus XP. So it makes me go for headshots on scavs. So it just looks like that. I like the sight picture. I like the way it feels. You know, I like being able to lean out and try and tap someone like that, you know? All right, so next I want to talk about having like level two traders. So let's say that you have level two peacekeeper, which is someone that you should try and rush level two because you get access to level three helmet, level three body armor, really huge. And you can get bigger backpack too. day pack reliably is massive as well as access to ammo like M80, which packs a serious punch. Starting off, I like to go with the MP5 SD. Now, the reason that I use this is it is relatively cheap. It is only going to be 592 USD versus like an MPX. People buy this a lot and it's 456. It's about 150 more um, USD. But the difference is the MP5 has way, way, way less recoil. I know the numbers are similar. It's like 33 versus 43. But this gun has so much less recoil and the MPX is crazy and it's suppressed. It comes pretty much already modded. The only thing you have to do to it is go to level 1. Uh, peacekeeper you're gonna buy this mfi hk universal low profile scope mount put that on there and put any scope that you want now you can also not buy a scope i choose to go with the xps 3-0 hollow from level 2 peacekeeper but even with iron sights like this gun is totally fine with iron sights and then i also buy from level 2 peacekeeper the tri ring mount so i can put a laser on my gun for hit fire accuracy now in the hideout it looks like this you're gonna get something that looks like just like this and with the hollow it, it's pretty good you can put it burst full auto obviously full auto and it just, it really just beams, like even without pulling down, it jumps to there, I pull down, it just stays about there. Nothing too crazy. You can take the rail off like this, and the iron sights are pretty clean actually for this gun, I don't mind them. They look just like this. So even like with that, I can still see where I'm spraying, it's not bad. Uh, crouching, the recoil just like doesn't exist. This is what it looks like standing. Standing and I don't pull down, it jumps to there, if I pull down, it's there. And if I do this, where I just crouch. I don't, I don't pull down. It jumps to there. Look at how little it jumps. I just like barely got to pull down. You can even beam like out here. It's just a headshot machine. Now, if you want something a little bit beefier, you can buy the UMP45 from level two Peacekeeper. Again, that's where we're going to be right here. Going to go to level two Peacekeeper, buy this bad boy, and you're going to need a couple attachments. The first of which being, I want a flashlight slash laser for hipfire accuracy. The next of which being, I want a sight. So XPS 3.0 for me. Use any of the sights that you think look cool to you or that you like. It's a preference thing. And you're also going to get access to the suppressor for the UMP, which is right here. So that is going to reduce the recoil by a lot, give you accuracy. It's great. Also, most people not able to hear where you are from far away. And from Skier, level 2, which is level 15, you're going to be buying the, what is this, the RK-4 for the minus 2% recoil. Now, you can also buy the Tango Down Grip from Peacekeeper level 2 as well if you want to, which is only 1%, but I feel like for the price difference, just get the extra 1% recoil. Because you know, having no skills early on really does hurt. So it has 53 recoil when we start. We can suppress it, put our sight on it, our laser, and our grip. We're looking at 42 recoil overall. This is going to be using 
match FMJ, which is on level one Peacekeeper. Match FMJ right here, really good stats. Either match FMJ or AP. AP we can't get early on, so we're going to use match FMJ. And then we're also going to be using uh, the mags, which are our level two Peacekeeper. The level one, actually. The level one, sorry. Both the level one, the ammo and the mags level one Peacekeeper. And yeah, really easy. I'm going to hide out. It looks like this. It does not kick very high at all. Very easy to get headshots. Very controlled. You can do bursts, you know. Very easy. And if you crouch, it's going to be even easier. Just make sure you're crouching before you shoot if you want to make sure you're beating people. I'm not even pulling down. It just does that. I like, couldn't do less work to make a hit heads. It is really good option. The ammo hits really hard. It has really high flush damage. So like when you're hitting people's arms or their stomach or even just punching their armor, you're killing them really quick. Now the RFB is one that I like to use later on. The main reason that the RFB is good is going to be because of M80 ammo. Now M80 ammo is available from level two Peacekeeper. It's right here. It's three dollars a bullet. It's super cheap. You get a 150 per reset. I stuck up on this as much as I can early. Every reset I buy some. It is so good. It can two tap through like pretty much every armor people can buy until like level 25 or 30. It's like insane. So for this, all you really need is a sight. So I have a hollow sight here. Any sight that you want is fine. And that grip from level two skier. Now this gun does come from level two skier as well. So uh, pretty easy to get. It's a level 15. You buy the RFE 55k. You buy the grip for like what's this 9k. And then you could buy the site for how much it is. You get your mags from level two peacekeeper as well. Those are going to be located right over here. Level two peacekeeper, you're going to buy those and then you get the ammo as well. And this is what it looks like when you shoot it. Now I'm going to try and spam it so you see you get the idea for the recoil. I'm not going to pull down, just spamming it. It does kick quite a bit, but if you take it like for controlled burst, like it's really not bad. If you just don't go super crazy. The main downside of this gun being no laser. That's going to be what I'm going to say right now. No laser does make this a unfortunate gun to use early on but if you crouch you know and you want to tap people it's too tap to the chest that kills anyone early life anyone level four or lower armor it's really good you know you can go for your taps it if you take your time it can kill people if you want to go for full auto i'd recommend going for the ump or the mp5 sd or our final option which is going to come from having a level two trapper which i believe is also level 15 uh, the main thing that we're going to be looking at here is the AK-74N. This is going to be like your go-to AK for a while. With this, we get access to a lot of attachments at level 2. So, one of the main ones being the rubber butt pad. This recoil pad is going to be your go-to um, to put on the stock of every single AK you get until you unlock a better stock like the PT-3 or the Zukovs. These are... Minus 5% recoil, and it's only 4k to buy this. Like, it's super cheap. I buy these on resets as well, just to be able to make sure I have a bunch of them, because they're annoying if you don't have them. With that, you get access to the attack tool, the rear sight mount, which means I can easily mount a sight on any AK that I want. If there's a dovetail mount, which the 74N does have, I can use that sight we're using earlier from level 1 over here. So, it gives a lot of options. Now, the way that I handle this is always going to put the butt pad on here. I go from 80 recoil all the way down to 73. Minimum, that's what we have to do every single time. Now, to be fancy, if you want, you can just put the EKP-7, and that's your sight. It's a preference thing. If you like this, go for it. If you want to use a hollow sight, and this is what you like, you have a couple options here. If you want the cheap option, you can take the rear sight off and put the Tactula on. Now, this is a rear sight that you can mount any sight that you want on there. Not a scope, but a sight. So, I can put my hollow sight on there. It kind of floats on the rear sight. That's an option. But the better option, if you want to spend more money, is forget about the rear sight, take it off and take off the dust cover, right? We get rid of this bad boy and put the Bastion on. Now this comes from level one skier and it reduces recoil by 1%. So what we can do is put that on there. Now we go down to 71 recoil and we can still mount our sight. And it's in more of a normal position. It's kind of pushed farther back, which is where we normally see it on guns. It feels more natural, but again, that is up to you. You have three different choices here. And again, any sight that you want would go on this Bastion or on attack tool that you can buy like as a calamiter. The last option, which I kind of forgot to mention if you're bare from earlier. So if you're bare, listen up. You can buy the AK-100 series polymer handguard from level one proper. It's right here. You buy this bad boy for 1.4K and it has a rail that you can put a grip on or you can put a laser on. You can do one or the other. So if you take off this handguard right here, you can put this on here. I now have my laser for the hip fire accuracy and I could even snag this RK-4 that we're talking about from earlier and throw this on the 74N. And this is exactly what we're looking at. Now, when you have level two prepper, we were mentioning this, you want to switch from PS ammo at level one right here. You want to swap to PP ammo. Because if you look at the stats of PP, 
it's pretty much 545 VP, which is like decent ammo. It's going to start shredding through things early on that people are going to be wearing, which is what we want to do is shred people's armor. So we can fill up our mag like this. It's going to be our go-to ammo. And it is relatively cheap. It does hit pretty good. And if I'm not going to stand, or I'm not going to pull down. I'm going to just stand and shoot. The gun does kick a decent amount, right? It's a decent amount, but it's not too crazy. I definitely feel like I could hit, you know, standing up. I could definitely pull down and like hit some shots and target. No problem. But if I crouch, like we've been saying the whole time, if you crouch, I can just beam people. I'm not going to pull down. I'm going to just kick up. That's just like kicking up normally. If I pull down, it's just free beams. So, I don't know. A very solid option. You now have the option to hip fire if you want to. You can sit there. You can hip fire. You can beam from far away. You can, you know, tap if you have to. Tap, tap, spray if you need to. Really solid choice. Would definitely be one of my go-tos. Again, I use the Mosin mostly. That's going to be just because I want the sniper skill. But, like, this would... This and the RFB would be my go-tos personally for my playstyle. Now, these are my go-to options from level 2 traders. Again, the choice is yours. I would probably go with the 74N if it were me. The ammo does hit. You can spray it. You can tap it. It gives you a lot of versatility. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think is the best one of these options. There are, of course, other options like the 506 Scar from level 2 Peacekeeper. Uh, you can make that work if you would like to. It is very expensive. I don't think it's worth the price per se. When you can mod it more later on, it is worth it. But right now, I don't think so. And the MPX, again, is way too much recoil compared to the MP5. It's not even worth trying to save like the 100 USD. I wouldn't even worry about it. There is also the 45 Vector that you can get from level 2 uh, Skier. The only problem being the mags are like impossible to get. So the way that you'd have to do that is by getting strike cigarettes and weapon parts. If you can do the barter for this, go for it. It's literally as simple as grip and sight. And then you would just go over here and buy a match FMJ from level 1. And you could shred people. So if you get the chance to do that, go for it. If not, that's level 2 traders. That's what I would use. I hope you guys enjoy that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. That was the video. If you have any questions, come by the stream. We're going to be live every day throughout the wipe. It's just getting in those hours. So come by, ask your questions. And hit that sub button on YouTube if you enjoy the content. We have tons of great guides coming. We have great ones on the channel already. Hope they help you out, guys. And wish you the best of luck with the new wipe.